morning guys. So today we're going to talk coffee. This is definitely one of mine and Garrett's most favored morning rituals is waking up, stumbling to the kitchen and then making a pot of coffee. If we have boxing, which we go to obviously first thing in the morning, then this is what we get to look forward to the entire trip home. And I really just can't imagine my life without a morning cup of coffee. I do also love tea. I absolutely adore tea. So I could definitely um, go for some days or weeks drinking beautiful cups of tea in the morning. But there is just something about the strong, earthy aroma of coffee brewing and then being able to slowly sip a cup of coffee that just wakes you up and it like invigorates all your senses. I absolutely love it. I drink my coffee black, no sugar. Um, we don't even put any, well, Gareth does. Gareth likes to have oat milk in his coffee. I just prefer to have my coffee straight black. And um, as you can see, we have our little plunger here that is um, busy doing its job. Now, this is the reason for all of my concern. Look at the size of the skies. It is so small. Now it's not to say that we did not have a bigger plunger, um, we actually had two um, coffee plungers that suited the amount of coffee we need in the mornings because when we use this little bad boy we have to do it twice, we have to make two, um, we have to brew the coffee twice because otherwise there's just not enough. So I know, like why are we back to swear one of the small coffee plunger? Well I'll tell you why and that is because the larger coffee plunger that we got um, the lid was bamboo and it swelled and it wasn't fitting and then it was leaking when we were trying to pour it. It was a mess. It was a mess. So we returned to sender, we took it back to the shop and then we were gifted a, another larger plunger and it was magnificent. Guys, we had such great mornings with the coffee that we made in that plunger. But alas, it met its untimely demise when Gareth dropped it to the floor by accident of course. And um, now here we sit. Now, since Gareth's been away for a month, it's been fun. It has been perfect for me to make one small um, pot of coffee. It's, it's worked out well, but Gareth returns today. And so, it is the last day that we can rely on this little guy to make our coffee. Now, I've been looking. Guys, I really have. I've been to both the SPCA stores. I have been to both the hospice shops. If there is a charity store that might sell, a large coffee plunger I have gone and I have looked but unless today nothing so today is the day I'm putting it out there I'm putting some positive energy into this universe that there will be a large coffee plunger at either the SPCA or the hospice there's two SPCA shops in Kloop I will try them both I will try the hospice store in Hillcrest if it comes to that I am going to Hillcrest, so it's not a wasted trip if there isn't one. But guys, please, please let there be a big coffee plunger out there for us. And without further ado, I am going to pour my my morning cup and I hope for the best. But um, you guys are going to follow me on my little journey, my search. So I'll see you at the SPCA because that's where I'm going to go first. Right guys, we are at the SPCA now. I'm gonna go and have a look and see if I can find a plunger in the um, the two places. I'm gonna look, the attic, which is like household wear, decor items, cooking, um, kitchen items. I'm gonna go have a look there. And then I'm also going to look in Fine Feathers, which is like the clothing and um, like, an like antique vintage um, retro item store. I'm really hoping that either or has a plunger for us. I have been a couple of times, not been lucky, but I'm vlogging today. So maybe this is gonna give me like a little bit of an extra boost of magic um, luck. So let's go have a look and see what we can find. That was such a great success. I didn't even have to go to the attic. I literally walked into Fine Feathers. I looked around for two minutes and this was there. I told you guys there was magic today. And this is exactly, this is literally exactly 
what I was looking for. I'm so happy. I love this little guy so much. You are going to make us a very, very happy couple every single morning. Thank you. I'd give it a kiss, but it is probably filthy dirty. And I'm like now rubbed it on my face. That's as, as close as you are going to come, my friend, until I take him home and give you a good scrub. Hey Hello. guys. So as you can see, I have the husband home and it's our first morning drinking coffee out of our enormous coffee plunger. Oh wow, hello. <laughs> Only realized now we got a new one. So Gareth knows about the woes that we have faced with our mini coffee plunger and not being able to have coffee at the same time. So let's just have a little tester. I'm going to pour our coffee and then we are going to enjoy it before we shoot out the door because we have to get all the way to Belito just now. Mm -hmm. But yesterday we did not have coffee and it was a horrible thing. Mm -hmm. So this morning, oh my gosh, okay, so we were already one cup down and there's still so much coffee to go. Guys, this is a miracle. Well, it's not a miracle, it's just a... A big coffee yeah, plunger. Yeah, a big thrifted coffee plunger, which we are so happy to have. Yay, oh, and in our beautiful little mug. So love, are you gonna cheers me? Cheers. Welcome home. Thanks. <laughs> mm, smells nice. Yay! Hot. Hot. Needs milk. But good. No, it doesn't. It's See great. what I told you. <laughs> black is black is black coffee is best. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 